So, you don't get the differences between albedo and diffuse. Not a problem. In the next two minutes, you will understand both the differences and why they matter. All right, let's do this. All diffuse means is that the lighting is balanced. In a proper diffuse map, you cannot tell which direction the sun is coming from. That is it. Once you have removed directional lighting, you can call it a diffuse. An albedo, however, is a color map. A perfect albedo map has nothing but colors. There should be no shading or light data on this map. Why would anyone need that? Well, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate strictly uses albedo only. They have one small albedo map for the color, and they put all the rest of the detail on a big occlusion map. Why? Well, because each character has eight different colors. If they had used diffuse maps instead, they would have needed eight gigantic maps to hold all the detail for each color. Can you even imagine how much longer it would take if instead of downloading eight small color maps and one big occlusion, it was downloading eight big diffuse maps at 1024p? For all 82 characters, that could have easily doubled the download time. Now, if you're not playing with colors, then diffuse maps are perfectly fine. Master Chief in Halo 4 had diffuse maps, and he looked pretty fan-damn-tastic. Just remember though, for diffuse maps, once you go black, you can never go back. If this is your diffuse map, no matter how much light you shine on this crack, it is always going to be colored black. And it's because the diffuse tells Blender that's the color it's supposed to be. But both maps can look amazing if done right. I already showed you how to make a diffuse map, but what about an albedo? Well, basically, you're just trying to make the blacks lighter and the whites darker. So, go to filters, generic, High pass filter, set radius to 200, and mode to grayscale, apply chroma. Then go to colors, curves, click here, and drag it to adjust the levels and lighting. Okay, you're done. It's gonna look a little washed out, but I promise that's normal for an albedo. Anyway, hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.